Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. Beat it. Fuck! Are you deaf or what? I said get out of here! You're gonna cause me trouble, and I don't like trouble! Fuck! Off! Hey! Take it easy, man, huh? Keep cool! <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? Gosh, I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! You think you're coming to my house and steal my dope? You'll be shooting up in hell, motherfucker! Will you stop fucking moving? Man, I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please, please don't kill me, man. I got children. These are my girls, see. This one's Sarah, and a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please, please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm a father too. But I'm no killer. Mad? It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Mad. Be careful. Okay. I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. I'm gonna act all doped up. I hope he goes for the bait. Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. 
I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? It's a tight neighborhood. People talk. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not for sale. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? I am, um, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. That guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Surgical gowns? I thought he stopped performing operations. Must be some kind of a weird nostalgia for the past. Maybe a quick look behind those doors. I'll make up some lies if he finds me. Nosy little ferret. We're gonna have some fun together, my darling. Ah, say hello to Matthew. 
He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rent it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold oh, on. There's my stinger. Have you ever noticed, as soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling? I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long.
feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Got them rain soaking wet. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. The scrapyard. Good a place as any to tinker with stolen cars. Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Don't think I'm gonna miss him. Hey, Cracker! What you doing in there? Norman Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. The blue Chevrolet is my only lead. Blood. Now why is there blood here? Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Is the killer's car being here? Fingerprints probably match X. Size ten, most likely a visitor. Size thirteen must be Matt Jack size. Not the car I'm looking for. Gary coming. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks, no doubt about it. Killer's car was here.
one of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Tut tut, no dice, Inspector Asshole. Don't even think about it. Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Last chance, Jack. Make it easy on yourself. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes, so what? You gonna cuff me? Uh, broke my fucking nose, pig! Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. You don't scare me, Mr. CSI. You ain't got it in you. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Because I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident because you won't really be able to talk, will you, Jack? You crazy motherfucker, you out of your mind, man! No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. He said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Anything you say can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. <laughs> what? They letting you dope heads in the FBI now? God bless America. I'm going to give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Favo. Permanently. Ha 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 ha!
Pachuca.